What is up YouTube, welcome back to On The Gas Show and we are back with another video and today guys is going to be a real exciting video just because we are finally picking up the crawfish after all the new upgrades that we just did to it. Not only that, but did I tell you that we bought a limousine bro? I got to the shop and he's like, hey, we got to go head out to Randy Seals. The guy that we bought the Pontiac from the Trans Am, the Trans -Am yeah. has a limo and we're going to go pick it up. The, the owner of Gringo, the Gringo yeah. truck. My boy Randy actually buys old schools. Uh, he buys and sells. We're actually having a cop car race. Like a derby is it a derby yeah it's like a dirt, dirt track uh, well once we get with randy we'll talk a little bit more about that but that's why we actually bought the cop car and it's going to be a bunch of people that bought the cop car and they're actually doing a road cage on the car right now so once we get over there with randy he can actually explain it to us a little bit more of what we're actually doing but he is the one that has the limousine so i've been looking for a limousine for a while and my boy randy just blessing me today it's not a big limousine it's kind of like a short deal it's uh it's a limo i mean it's not that short it's not that short. it's like your typical old school Lincoln the ones people used to go to prom in how are we taking it to the shop where well, you're gonna drive it it obviously doesn't fit here oh, and be before, besides that we're gonna be putting crawfish here I'll be so, a driver. you're gonna be a limo driver have you ever driven a limo? No, never. So we got some nice plans for the limousine. I do know I want to swing it. We're actually going to see if we can tune it, uh, do some burnouts. And uh, also, I always want to see a limousine with a trailer, bro. So mm. I don't know if that's possible. We're going to try it. I think so. Pulling a race truck and shit. Yeah, pull up to the track and the limousine with crawfish in the back. <laughs> shit. Uh, All right, let's go talk to Flock. We'll see what's up. See if the truck is ready. All right, guys. So as you can see, the truck is pretty much done. Did a bunch of upgrades that the truck needed. One of the upgrades is this cool charger, quick connect. But it usually has. Well, it's not. A, it's not hard to do it. But we actually got a. After every other pass, we got to charge the battery. This is actual quick connect to connect the battery. This is one of the upgrades that we did. You can see over here. This is new, new fuel pump. We got a billet bracket over there. So there's a bunch of upgrades that we did to the truck, but right now we're gonna be taking it back to Speed Lab because we need to make some adjustments with the turbos. Another cool thing that we did is we bought these jacks. And how much were those jacks, right? Uh, they're like 2,500 or so. They're called Pro Jacks. So now we don't have to use the actual standard jacks. Yeah. yeah. And this is actually, it works out because sometimes we want to check if the 4x4 is working or not, if it's engaged or not, because sometimes it doesn't engage and we can actually lose a race like that. So now we can actually pick it up after every race, but it can actually detail the frame and clean everything under. Yeah. So my boy Flaco did the tabs for it in the front. The back already had it. It does have a nine inch in the back. So we did that. We actually bought the transmission cooler, which is over here. M&M transmission cooler. How much was this? About two Gs or yeah, so. Yeah, about two Gs with the charger and everything. So we're actually getting more just prepared, more equipped. We needed these things a long time ago and we never got them, but now we got them for sure. So I'm actually excited. April 1st is gonna be a badass event. One hell of an event. One hell of an event, yeah. And hopefully, like I said, we can actually race the truck at the show. So don't forget, April 1st, the final shootout at Houston Raceway Park. You do not want to miss out, it's gonna be badass. And of course, we are gonna have a 4x4 class. So if the 4x4 class didn't happen on the last event, it will happen on this one for sure. We are gonna be taking care of that ourselves. Last time at Truck Nationals, we actually had to try Track, taking care of the 4x4 and for whatever reason it didn't happen and this truck wasn't actually working either so i mean it was just a bunch of bad stuff that you know went wrong but we're gonna make it right for you guys april 1st you do not want to miss out right now we're gonna be taking it off the jack we're gonna show you how it works we're gonna be loading it up and uh, heading out to speed lab with my boy jose You fit under a tiny? I know. Now we can see a little bit more of the upgrades that we actually did. 
What exactly what all we did to the truck, Flaco? Like right here in the front, what's all this stuff? Because I know we didn't have this. So explain to us exactly what is all this for the people that don't know. Well, that's the crank trigger. Crank trigger? Basically controls your timing. Okay. We sure definitely did not have that. And we don't have the belt for the fuel pump no, no. more. So we eliminated that. This is actually more efficient. It's cam driven. Cam driven. So it's always working there. Yes. Right. And also the coils. Those come with the Pro 600. Pro 600. It just puts out way more spark. More. Than, uh, okay. You know, the Holly works good, but overall, if you're going to try to run big boost, I mean, Pro 600 is the way to go. Okay. So now we should not have any problems, you know, with the power, with the... With the, uh, the difference with the MSZ crank trigger, uh, you can verify time and make sure that it's 100% wherever you set it at. Okay. Versus the factory one or stuff like Which that. Which is so. like you're guessing at it pretty much. Uh, I mean, you can still put a pointer on it, okay. but if you're going to be spinning the motor high enough, which we obviously spin it over 8,000, uh -huh. I mean, you want something better in the factory one, in my opinion. Okay. A lot of people will probably say different, but yeah. in my opinion, I like to use this. So we should not have any problems now? <laughs> no, it should be okay. That's what I like to hear. It sounds real healthy. Sounds, uh, Beast. Sounds stronger. We're calling our white, our white buddy. Hola, buenas tardes, señor Randy. Este, le habla Beto, a ver si me puede regresar la llamada, le estaba hablando porque voy para allá a levantar la limosina, si me puede llamar uh, para atrás, a por favor, le agradeceré mucho, estoy como 40 minutos de su casa, échame un cable compa, ahí le encargo. So, we're calling our white, our white friend, we have, well, I mean, we have white friends, right? Yeah, we got some white, Mark, we got Randy, yes, we got yes. a couple of white. Skinny man. Skinny man, skinny man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about skinny man, Moonshine is coming up, guys. I was actually with my boy Skinny Man yesterday. We're in the process, we're gonna try to have the truck at the final shootout. Now, it won't be completed, but it's gonna be there. The motor will be there, the port charger, we're gonna try to have it all as a roller. Well, not as a roller, I mean, everything will be there, but it, of course, it will not be a turn on, it, does, it will not have a wiring and none of that stuff but it will be there at the final shootout. So I'm just calling my boy Randy. Obviously he's Randy Seals. So I left a message in Spanish. Hopefully he will understand and he'll call me back. Right now we're heading over there. It's, we're 40 minutes away. We're out here in the boonies. Alex cannot be over here by himself at night. Nah, I can. It's pretty peaceful. It is. Smoke a bunch of weed. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of white people over here, bro. So? Like racist white people. So? That's my favorite. Favorite, okay. Also my boy Tiny's behind us. We'll show you some upgrades, some stuff that we bought, some goodies that we bought for the Crown Bay car. And we'll show you what exactly we're gonna do. But right now we're on our way to pick up the limousine. Hopefully it picks up. If not, we're just gonna go directly to Speed Lab. And then after Speed Lab, we can go pick up the limousine. But I do wanna pick the limo right now just because it's it's daytime still. And I want you guys to check it out. I'm actually pretty excited about this limo stuff. I'm excited, I'm gonna drive it. You're gonna drive it back to the shop. Now remember, this motherfucker's long, bro. So it's not it's not like you're driving a trailer. Uh, it's not the same thing because you, 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 yeah, it's not gonna flex. It's, gonna it's just like driving a school bus, bro. It's, true, 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 true. true. Yeah, 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 you did, you did, you did. Now we have another bus. It's not a school bus. It's like a taco truck, right? My boy Tito be finding all these good deals. And so he showed up to the shop with the taco truck or like a dry van, and we're gonna be taking that to Crosby. I believe we're fixing some issues on it so it works, and then after that we'll be going to Extreme Off Road Park with the bus. We'll be taking the monster truck so y'all stay tuned for that also i think our boy scarface is going to be joining us because he also does have a bronco yeah it's a four bronco it's a four bronco now he's been having this truck for like over 20 years i think he used to use this truck as a daily to go to work 
and it's pretty cool that 20 years later he still has this truck and now it's lifted with big tires big wheels it's actually a mud truck kind of like the one we got so that's gonna be pretty fun so y'all stay tuned for that which is coming up besides that it's getting hot bro so it's summer vibes are here it's gonna be hot once we go to the extreme it's gonna be a lot of mosquitoes y'all ain't ready for the seat i know we y'all talk mess when we say it's cold because we some tropical dudes out here we're used to this humidity we're used to the heat we're used to the mosquitoes and there's a bunch of that at extreme off road so you do not want to miss that video maybe in the next couple of weeks would it be after april or before april most likely to be honest be after april yeah. but we'll try to squeeze it in because we have a lot of places we need to go to before true which we're going to the valley this weekend and it's going to be like 95 degrees but it's always hot in the valley so everybody they've been asking for the two-door tahoe action we're actually going to be picking that up with the new 6 -hole motor that we installed with my phone memo and then we'll be dropping it off at the auto shop because i do want to ask uh, a sound system to that truck also if you remember guys the 1978 trans am we're going to be taking it to memo because i do have a badass ls motor that i do want to put on that car so we'll be taking that also the gmc sierra they've been having issues that one's also going all the way to the valley hopefully my boy memo can fix it fix all the issues it has like a pro speed wiring system or what is it pcu it's like a holly but yeah. it's pro speed so it piggybacks off the stock computer yes so we're gonna be taking all that stuff off we're gonna try to make it work without it and if it doesn't work we'll probably add a holly system to that truck so everybody's been asking about the tahoe we can give you guys some tahoe content also the gmc sierra i know you guys been asking for that that's gonna be this weekend now nobody has been asking about that 78 trans am we're gonna give you a little bit of that but right now we're on our way to get the limo and perrillo is excited we're gonna, we're gonna have to buy this guy a little suit and a hat a whole suit maybe a bow tie or a little tie you know what tiny will be a better driver for that car tiny, tiny does look like a limo driver he looks like a bus driver limo driver bus driver he looks like a driver he looks like a driver yeah yeah everybody so we finally made it out here to brandy's heels hot rod shop if you guys remember well we actually bought the 1978 trans am for my boy randy and like i said he be coming up with this good deals come over here randy did you hear my uh, voice message uh what do you call me yeah i'll call you before we talk about the limousine let's talk about this cop car which he is the main guy he this is the guy right here so we got velocity's car we got the on the gas car right here and how many cars in total randy uh, 12 right now total. 12 Stacy and then there's two more at the two more in this garage uh -huh. and two more at Jason 12 cars in total 12 total right now that's probably gonna go up so my boy Randy here gutted all these cars we, we took off all the seats and everything the only thing here is actually the dash and the steering we took the glass out we're gonna take out the rear glass we're gonna leave it in there yeah, we gotta take we gotta take the rear glass out because it shatters. It okay. shatters into a million pieces. Okay. I tried to get one of them out, uh, Manuel's, uh -huh. and it shattered. It so shattered. I'm okay. just gonna call the last guy and get him to come pull yeah. all the all the glasses out. What exactly are we doing? What day is it? So, we, so everybody can pull up. Uh, March 25th, 105 Speedway, Cleveland, Texas. The races they have regular racing start uh, probably around seven o'clock. Our race. I'm gonna try to get us around 10, 10.30. Okay. That way the track is right and we can get some get some steam going. 30 laps. 30 laps. Now yeah. this is, you've done this before already. This oh is, yeah. You got all the trophies already. You and Stacy. Yeah. So, I mean, are we gonna get like a, you know, like a head start? Since, I mean, you guys, you guys Any, Anybody before? that's raced before has to start in the back. And I might put them like 100 yards back. Just so, you know, don't run up on you quick and you know, y'all can take off and kind of start feeling what this is going to be like okay. and then maybe by about lap three or four you, everybody okay. kind of together. is together and can start uh doing what they want to do and my boy time's gonna be riding with you right all right yep yep that's right i'm gonna be in there my boy randy you're gonna be in the limo right yep. so uh, so he bought this limo for the event yep. but yep. you know i called him and is he bought it so you're gonna have to find another one you gotta you find put another in, one you're gonna have to put how many seats you can put in there uh, at least six. At least six. You yeah. have to put a big one for this guy. Oh yeah, super size. You know, um, as long as there's champagne in there, we're good to oh, go. Yeah. Well, we got you know, we can put some champagne in there. But that is, like Beto said, that is set for March 25th. We are gonna pull up to Freddy's event for a little bit. We'll be there, and then I think we're gonna be there till about three or four. 
and then head out and head over to Cleveland, Texas. We'll put the flyer right here for that. And um, so if you guys get done with Freddy's event, you wanna head over and watch On The Gas, watch Midnight Velocity, watch my boy Randy. Watch us just create a whole chaotic mess out there. It's racing, but I think it's gonna be more of a demolition, bro. It is, that's why I bought that big bumper. And that big bumper's <laughs> gonna go right here. We're gonna have to take this off. My boy T is gonna have to do some modifications here. Uh, we we'll probably end up taking off the hood or the grill, but I know that bumper, we're gonna try to get it in here. And I think I'm the only one with the big bumper, right? Yeah, I think for now, so. I think for now. Well, it's, it's a kind of a secret, so don't go over there and tell people. I think once Manuel finds out, he's going to try to produce Well, something. they're going to watch the video. Oh, they're going to watch the video. So once they watch well, the video. Can we block Manuel? <laughs> Either way, that's where we're going to be, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be action-packed. You want to go see us just do some hood rat stuff. Make sure you head out there to Cleveland. Like my boy Randy said, we're probably around 10-ish. We're going to hit 10, 10, 30 is we're going to hit the track and we're going to start going. I think we need to put a bounty on Manuel or hey, something, you know? All, all I know is, you know, we're all buddies and we're all friends. And, you know, we all have fun racing each other. But, you know. This is different. This is different. Yeah. When the green, green flag drops. Ain't my friend no <laughs> it is just racing but it's kind of also uh i'm better than you type of deal oh, that's yeah. why i think beto's gonna put that big bumper in the front get in my way you have to get out I'm yeah all right my boy what we got here what is this what year what, what model where'd you get this thing from this is a uh 2003 lincoln uh stretch limo it's got uh got two batteries the other battery is up on the front fender like below the top battery okay that battery runs the back stuff the, the, okay everything uh, in the back. i just got in it earlier started playing with it. come on Betsy. is this a 4.6 yeah. yeah. well alex is in there yeah, I, shit out of you. I was like hold on you got a dead body in here bro <laughs> is that airbags <laughs> Oh yeah. Chill out, Alex. Oh shit, spider webs. Spider webs? Wait, how do you turn on the light? Warm me up, though. Oh, you like I put the champagne? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, pull over right here. Oh look, there's neon lights and everything. Maybe the battery's dead. Oh uh, yeah. Pull over. You ever been in a limousine? Yeah. Where? Party bus, limousine. Where? Uh, Kissing at us or what, bro? No, 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 no. Dude, this guy looks like a <laughs> Maybe it has a sensor. I was like, what? No, a sensor. Maybe it has like a sensor. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's got the chip in the key. It ain't blinking no more. Okay, so we got power now. I don't think it works. Yeah, yeah it has to work. Go right here. Go the other way. The other way. Turn on the neon light. It has to be like a switch. Oh, yeah. Come on, driver. Try to see if like... I think none of this works. Yeah. yeah do the neon lights work? Yeah. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Oh, hell yeah. Now we're talking. Hell yeah. Hey, give me that phone. The uh, sunroof is moving? No. Sunroof is solid. Oh, you're you're, you got oh, look, I got a little bit of clothes. Bye, Randy. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah. 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 Oh, y'all got it back there? Okay, Hold so on. it only goes up and down. Push it. Help it. I was trying to mess with it earlier. Oh. Help it. Like, will it, it slide, push, slide it forward or something? Oh, okay. there it is. Hold it's, on. It's like if it's only a moon room. No, no, there it go, there it go. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> give me the phone, give me the phone. Call him, press the button that says... Bro, I'm trying to use this hole to go party. Salte para ice con el teléfono, güey. Salte para ver el teléfono. No. Yeah, I'll be there in five. Hey, what's up? Truck tiny, let's go for a ride. Hey, what's up? Truck tiny! Come on, Chris. Oh, hey, boy! Whoa! So with the magic of YouTube, we have made it to Vegas. Already? Made it to Vegas, bro. We're in Vegas. Tip 
funny. <laughs> I think it's too much fun. It's solid. We're buying it. No, the plan was to fuck it up as soon as you get it. But it actually rides pretty good. The AC is good. Everything works inside. It's hey. smooth. So I think we're going to actually enjoy the car for a little bit. We're probably going to pull up to, to the track. We're probably going to pull up to the shows in it. You know what I'm saying? Anything that is here locally, we can pull up in it. I don't know if it's going to do donuts or burnouts, but we're going to try. We'll probably do a little two little program or call or anything or something like that. But we are definitely going to get it. So I'm actually pretty excited. It's probably one of the best investments. But have you noticed, Frank, every time I buy something, it's the best investment. It keeps getting better and better. I mean, the monster truck, now this, yeah, the yeah, bus, yeah. where the bus was given to us. So finalize the deal right here with old Randy. We're going to be getting out. limo <laughs> what's the things in here like food huh no way i think it's us <laughs> because of the limo oh really i was smelling that one like, yeah mm -hmm. How'd it feel? How'd it ride? How'd it drive? Free, oh yeah? Like oh, chilling, let's be young dog the whole way. You put us canciones de medio metro. What's up, dog? What's up, what's up? Late night, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. You know what we bought? Yeah. For what? I don't know. We brought over here to put a turbo on it, bro. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, coyote swapping and yeah. <laughs> I need the turbo. I need the turbo kit and the trunk. Oh, shit. Man, you know how much piping that's going to be? <laughs> Come and check it out, bro. It's nice. I didn't buy it to go race that dirt deal, right? No, no. We have a car for that. Oh, OK. La perro, eh? Yeah, it's nice, dude. Oh, it does smell anyway. It yeah, smells like fucking leather and beer and cigarettes and Shippers. casinos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Butt oh, sweat. We're gonna put a hitch and then we're gonna pull up to the track. The race truck in the back. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> and you seen that before with some swangers too. <laughs> everybody been asking for a slab, so we bought a limousine to make it a slab. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put some elbows on it. Yeah. Some elbows. <laughs> que le agregaras una barrita aquí porque no hay Got our driver Beto, chauffeur Beto. Oh, god damn, food. Frank, <laughs> bro. 
Madre, güey. Se siente bien feo acá atrás. No da vuelta, güey. like a cloud or what? Not as soft as the Caprice or the Bach, but it still it still rides pretty good. And then this car has air bags all the way around just because whenever there's a lot of weight, it lifts up by itself. We need to go pick up somebody in this motherfucker, bro. Hey, this driver sucks, bro. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like it's like I just closed it. Oh, you closed it. I need some privacy. But like Tony Montana. <laughs> what side is it on? Abreme la puerta! Abreme la! Oh shit! Man, I got your next time. Oh, it's over here. But do you have to open it over there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you're fucking up! Dale, dale. There, there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, it's dark. What happened? Damn. Okay. You smell it? It smells yeah. funny. We smell like it now. It does smell funky like. Oh, that's limo. Echale gas, ¿cuál funky? Yo no, ¿cuál es este dijo funky? Echale gas. show brought to you by the only guy <laughs> yes sir we got my boy right here you know he finally decided to upgrade we got them larry hoovers yes sir he got them big daddies in the back yes dog. sir i don't know whose wheels they were but i got him but i got him now these should be crackheads old wheels it should really? be crackheads old wheels we got a big old 325 which that's a big old tire look at it. it is a big tire guys so you think it's gonna fit in the truck i don't know we're about to find we're out we're about to find out they're a little dirty but we're gonna clean them up we're just doing fitment right now just, we just want to check if it fits. So I did do the 15 inch conversion on this truck. Honestly, all you had to do was buy the bracket. I bought it from Spike Performance. And from there, they give you, you go to the website, 1320 wheels, 
spike performance. They tell you all the parts to buy to make it a 15 inch conversion. So the reason I went 15 inches because they're little wheels, but I mean, she boy. They're little, but they meaty. Yes, sir. That's what we need. That's yes, what we sir. need. Yes, sir. You know, so? my boy for real trying to make some noise on the street. A little bit, just a little bit. You know, they're closing down the track, so it's going to be a street truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to start visiting Mexico a little bit more often. Oh, yeah. I, even though I can't go, we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and see if these bad boys fit. Holy shit, bro. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oof. Moment of truth. Ooh, boy. These bad boys gonna look good. Okay, nothing rubs. You gotta make sure nothing rubs. A lot of runs in those wheels. I did, I did. So, you know, sometimes it didn't work, the nitrous, but... <laughs> Nah, but they're pretty good. You know, they're good for a street. Slicks are good for a street. You're gonna spin, but you're gonna kind of go with these. You're spinning, you're spinning. But fuck it, why not? It looks good, huh? Oh yeah, it looks it real good. good. Huh? I'm ready for you to put some lug nuts on there. All right, so we got one side done. We're we'll trying to get the other side. So the big reason that I'm going with these wheels or just doing upgrades in my truck, we got April shootout coming up. I have been going to April shootout since I was little, way before I knew these guys, everything. I have never, ever taken a personal truck over there, you know, to the show. So this is gonna be my first time going out there, you know, it looks a little racy, you know, we're trying to do body work, you know, put a wrap, some quick little stuff, you know, just a little stuff so we can get the ball rolling on this truck. Cause it hurt me a little bit that it was just sitting outside, you know, and I wasn't paying attention to it. So, you know, with a little help over here with Frank and Beto, we got things rolling and uh, really appreciate that. I don't know about this mismatching bottles back here, bro. Hey, hey, What's I'm going on over here? A little, little bit of both. Right? I love verga. <laughs> a little bit of both. Hey, you actually took the slicks off from the 17s, right? You gave me permission to do that. Oh, I did it. It's been going on. You've been, you for, you've been knowing for. You've been knowing for. I'm tired of getting. Slicks. I'm tired of getting ripped off by everybody. It'd <laughs> 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 be my own people. It'd be my own fans. <laughs> shit. All right, we down to the last tire that we gonna mount up on this bad boy. You gonna do a burnout or what? No, no. You no. think you got enough power to turn them bitches? I probably do. I don't know. We're about to find out. This truck looks way faster than what it really is. It's <laughs> wheels, bro. I mean, my boy got B locks on, dog. What's your respect <laughs> on my name? Yeah, 300 horsepower ain't gonna do that, bro. That's just, that's just nitrogen, bro. Nah, I'm gonna stop saying stuff because we're holding Perillo back. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. Hey, stop holding me back, bro. My, my bad, bro. I'm trying to do great things here. <laughs> you say you're ready for brownie. Jeez. You don't mind it, but you would have lined up. You would have caught it. Straight up. This thing hooks. <laughs> oh. Damn it, boy. I know that boy's itching to lower that bitch down already. You ain't got to be fat to have some whales. Bro, look at so that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you know what would be a good race? This one versus your car, bro. At the track. I'm going to say one thing, though. I'm tired of these. Disrespecting me, dog. Like 11. 11.70 on your best pass. No, no, no. no. Was 11 no. 11 no? Yeah, no. like a 10.70. Like a 10.6. Oh. 10.6. How much is this one run? On nitrous. Like a 16. On nitrous? No, it's going to be faster. 11.5, 11.3, 11.3. Probably with nitrous. It should run that. How much should be faster? Think so? Yeah. I'm about to put a pill, though. 200? Yeah. This one on the 200 shot, heads up. That'd be good. I'm That'd down with that, bro. I'm down, I'm, down, I'm down to do some good content, dog. I'll give a damn. But give me that 40 roll. No, that's not a good reason. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, bro, you need to stop asking for stuff, bro. How am I asking uh, for stuff, dog? I'm not asking for anything. I heard you were I, asking for the move with the CTSV from Fajardo. Bro, uh, now I just bullshitting, dog. I hope so, bro, because I seen that, dog, and I was like, man, you can't bro, be asking for shit, bro. Bro, it's, it's just, like, hey, it's just a talk you, shit, you dog. You want to be a fool? It's like, hey, where my hog at? You know what I mean? <laughs>